both as a reminder of one of the early talks I gave about sitting properly with the cello, and also as a prelude to the next set of talks, which is going to be about intonation, I want to revisit the subject of sitting down with the cello. And one of the most important things I found, because the cello is a big instrument, is to make sure that no matter what chair I'm in, what position I may happen to be in, which varies from, from chair to chair and concert to concert, is to make sure that I can reach everything very well. <clears throat> so here's what I want you to do. Once again, take your cello and put it on the left side of your head as we talked about. And make sure everything is lined up. Feel that the end pin is a good height. And then check to make sure that first position with the flat notes, like E flat, is really comfortable. If it's not back up here somewhere or down too close to the shoulder where the left arm is cramped. Make sure that the first position feels like it's basically in line with your head or your neck. Then move from first position up here and make sure that the angle is such that you can move from fourth position upward easily without a big jump in the arm height. fingerboard. Play your highest note, which for me is a G. Make sure that your arm is not like this or in any way uncomfortable. So that all of these positions from here to here to here feel very easily accessible. And then look at your bow. Make sure that your bow at the tip is not too high, that your arm is not uncomfortable, that your shoulder is not cramped. Just make sure that everything is lined up and next we're going to talk about intonation.